keeping your Windows 11 device running smoothly and securely means ensuring your drivers are up to date. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to update your drivers, both automatically and manually. I'll cover how to check if your system is up to date, how to access Device Manager, and how to handle driver updates to maintain optimal performance and security. First, let's make sure your Windows 11 is up to date, which is crucial before we start updating any drivers. You'll want to click on the Start button, then go into Settings. Scroll all the way down and find Windows Update. It's usually at the bottom of the list. Once you're there, just hit Check for Updates. Your computer will then search for any available updates and show them to you. If there are any, go ahead and install them to make sure your system is fully updated. This step ensures that your PC is not only secure, but also stable enough to handle new driver installations. Now, let's move on to opening the Device Manager, where you can view and manage the drivers. You can open the Device Manager in a couple of ways. One quick method is to right-click on the Start icon. You'll see an option for Device Manager right there in the menu. Just click on it, and it will open up. Alternatively, if you prefer searching, you can type Device Manager in the search bar and select it when it appears in the results. Another way to get there is through the Control Panel. Open the Control Panel, set the view to large icons, and you'll find Device Manager listed there. Choose whichever method you find easiest, and that will bring you right to where all your device drivers are organized. Once you're in the Device Manager, updating your drivers is pretty straightforward. Start by navigating to the specific device you want to update. You can see different categories like Bluetooth, display adapters, and more. Just find the device you're concerned with and click on the little arrow next to it to expand the list of hardware. Right-click on the device that needs updating and select Update Driver from the context menu. Then choose Search Automatically for Drivers. Your system will then search online for the latest drivers and automatically install them if any updates are available. If your driver is already up to date, it will notify you that the best drivers for your device are already installed. This process ensures that your device drivers are always current, which is essential for your system's optimal performance and security. If the automatic update doesn't find any new drivers, or if you want to install a specific driver you've downloaded, you'll need to update your drivers manually. To do this, go back to the device in Device Manager that you want to update. Right-click on it and select Update Driver just like before. But this time, instead of having the system search for you, choose Browse My Computer for Drivers. From here, you can navigate to where you've saved the driver file on your computer. Select it and then follow the prompts to install. Alternatively, if you're not sure where the file is or if you want to see if a different driver version might work better, you can select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. This will show you a list of all compatible drivers that are already downloaded on your system, and you can choose one to install. This method gives you more control over which driver version you are installing, which can be useful if you're troubleshooting specific issues. After updating your drivers, whether automatically or manually, it's a good idea to make sure that the updates have been applied correctly. You can easily check this by right-clicking on the device you updated in Device Manager and selecting Properties. Once you're in the Properties window, go to the Driver tab. Here, you'll see detailed information about the driver, including the driver version and the date it was last updated. Take a moment to review these details to confirm that the driver is indeed the latest version or the specific version you intended to install. This step is crucial for ensuring that your device functions optimally with the updated drivers. That's it for this video on how to update drivers on Windows 11. I hope this step-by-step -step guide helps you keep your system running smoothly and securely. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more useful tech tips. Have any questions or did these methods work for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching 
and I'll see you in the next video.